All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to scan a document to PDF using your Android smartphone. Now, this is going to work with all Android smartphones. It's going to use an app that's already likely built into your smartphone. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm going to be demonstrating this with a Pixel 6 Pro, but again, this will work for any Android smartphone. And the app that I'm going to be using is the Google Drive app. So the Google Drive app has some scanning functionality built into it, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Now, I've got this... Uh, Dyson ball manual that I found that I'm going to be scanning right now. So first thing you'll do, of course, is to open up the Google Drive app. Uh, I've got it open. Then you hit that plus button at the bottom right. Uh, and then you'll have this scan button at the third one. So that scan button will open up the camera. And that is what you're going to use to go ahead and take a picture of whatever document you want to scan. Now, a couple of tips for how to scan documents. One, you want to make sure there's a good contrast between what you're scanning and the surface you're scanning it on so that you don't actually get the surface. It does a much better job if there is a, some sort of contrast there. Um, two, when you're taking a picture of the document, you want to be able to get your phone as flat as possible so that you're taking like a, a, a decent perspective of the document. So I think this is a pretty good shot. I'm going to go ahead and take this picture. Um, that looks pretty good to me. You can hit that check mark. And then you can see it's gone ahead and cut out the document. But let's say it didn't do a great job of cutting it out. Maybe it found this blue square and that's what it was trying to do. So instead, what you can do is click on the um, click on this crop button. And then here you can see there are six different um, dots that you can manually adjust. Sorry, there's more than six, but you can adjust them to be where you think the corner or the edge is. So let's say you want, you only wanted this part of it, you didn't want the top part, you can go ahead and resize it like that. You can go ahead and move it up. It's only gonna work for rectangular documents, but it is it does work very well. So you can see, um, you've got your document. Now this is a, I believe a color drawing scan, but you can also do a full on color scan, which is basically like if you did um, like a picture of it. Um, you can also do it in black and white if you want to have something in black and white. I mean, color I think work also very well since this does have color. Uh, another cool thing, um, you can actually go ahead and add more pages. So like I said, this is actually a manual. So what you can do is you can open up to the next page. You can go ahead and get this ready and then take another picture. Let me make sure this is flat. Take another picture. Go ahead and hit OK. And then you can see this one did not do a great job of in terms of cropping because I just didn't have this very flat. So what I can do is I can hit that crop button and then I can try to get the edges to where I think they are best in the corners and then just hope it'll work out for the best here. So I think this looks pretty good. It'll hit done. And you can see I got the second page. Now, if I go back, you can see the first page is still there. This will be a second page of that document. And you can go ahead and scan this entire book and make it into a PDF. Um, and then at the top, you can click on the name. So this will be the default name. Basically, it just tells you the time that you did the created the PDF. But you can also go ahead and say, um, call it whatever you want. So in this case, I'll call it Dyson Manual. Hit OK. Um, I can continue scanning more pages, or I can, if I scan a page I didn't like it, I can hit that minus button at the bottom right, and it will delete the current page. Um, to me, it looks good right now. Um, also, that third button, you can use it to rotate the page in case it got the wrong angle. Um, but yeah, right now it looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and hit that Save button. Now here, it will go ahead and actually prompt you for the document title. So if you didn't change it in the first place, you can change it here. Um, I'm actually not going to change it to this one. I'm going to change it to my YouTube account. Um, and then here, you have the option of where you're going to set the destination. So you can go ahead and create a folder just for scan documents and save it all there. Or you can just go ahead and save it directly to your Google Drive, and it'll just be there. So here, it's created that folder. It's uploading that document right now. And I have now have the PDF version of that document. And it seems like it did something weird with the second page where it's like a landscape, but it's still good. You can still email somebody with this and you're good. So yeah, this is how you scan a PDF, oh, sorry, scan a document to PDF using your Android smartphone. Uh, if this helped you out, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.